Hey, welcome guys. Bob here from bobsplumbingvideos.com. I'm going to do a short little video to clear up a little confusion. I'm getting a lot of emails from you guys um, in regards to, you know, uh, how to transition uh, from different size pipes coming out of the wall to different type of traps to different type of tubular configurations. So I want to see if I can clarify that. I did shoot a couple of videos on how to transition from the P-trap up to the sink itself. And also I shot a video on how to cut out a, a, a rotten nipple coming out of the wall. But I've been getting a lot of email inquiries uh, of people that have uh, attempted to, to do the repairs and they're a little confused. So I, I want to see if I can clear up some of that confusion in this video. So stand by, I'm going to jump on the other side of the bench and we will get started. All right, so here we are, and just bear in mind what I have here on my uh, demonstration board. I actually screwed this flange. It's just a two-inch flange to demonstrate uh, uh, some some two-inch pipe. This is not the case. This is not what you would have under your sink. You would you would actually the pipe would be coming out from the wall, and you'll see that when I when I demonstrate the inch and a half stuff. But this is just something I put up here to hold. To hold up the the pieces I'm going to put up now in New York City uh, kitchen sinks two inch is the size uh, for bathroom sinks inch and a half is the size I know this varies across the country because I've been in in places where I've seen actually inch and a quarter coming out for bathroom sinks and uh, some kitchen sinks in some parts of the country are inch and a half it depends on your local plumbing code so that you're gonna want to check on but New York City it's two inch and inch and a half so the question always comes up, uh, how do I get from point A to point B? And pretty much in New York City here, most of the time we have a two inch galvanized nipple sticking out of the wall. And this is pretty much the way it is. And on top of those nipples, depending upon if you have a single or double sink. In this case, I have a, a swing T trap, what they call a swing T trap, which will accommodate two sinks. Now these traps also come uh, singular meaning it's a you would get a two by inch and a half singular trap without the T on it and and you would just be able to go straight up to your kitchen sink and it actually doesn't have this this T portion on it and it doesn't have the the, the, the swing nut on it so there is no T it's just two by inch and a half so I just want to clarify that so with this type of a trap if you had two sinks you most certainly could get your tubular you'd have a, a waistband a long waistband and depending upon where your other sink was you could flip it one way or the other or wherever you needed it to be and you would connect up the auxiliary sink and the top T generally would go to the the main sink and after that all got connected you would want to make sure that this nut here it's like a union nut and what I generally like to do is I like to put my pipe joint compound in there to get everything nice and secure, lubricated, I'll put my pipe joint compound in there and uh, that'll secure the T in place. And as you can see, this trap even has a clean iron on it. So that's that's how we would do it here if we, we had galvanized pipe coming out of the wall. Now, if you wanted to and you wanted to transition to PVC, that's not a problem. There's a couple of ways you could do it. Uh, naturally we, we will take this trap off and if you wanted to actually I wouldn't leave the threads on so if you had a sound piece of pipe coming out of the wall meaning the pipe is good it's not rotten if it is rotten you're gonna have to go in there and change it if you have to change it you'll go in to watch my video on how to cut out a rotted waist nipple uh, but what I would do if this was a good nipple I would actually cut off the threaded part here which would leave me a nice smooth uh, nipple here and then there's a there's, there's a couple of ways you can do it actually let me back up a minute if the threads were good and this piece was really really in sound shape you could simply go get yourself a uh, an adapter and i'll show you that here this is a a female adapter so it's inside it's it's a uh, two inch pipe thread and, and on the opposite side it's pvc so you could Put your Teflon tape, your pipe joint compound on here, and this would simply screw on here. And you would make that up nice and securely with your wrench. And now you could you can convert to PVC. So now that gets you to PVC. Alternatively, I just want to demonstrate for you if we if you had just PVC coming out of the wall. So again, 
this flange is just for demonstration purposes, but if you had PVC coming out of here, and the way I'm going to do that is this. If I can find my adapter, I'm going to screw my 2-inch adapter in here, and we're going to make believe that we just have 2-inch PVC pipe sticking out of the wall. And with 2-inch PVC pipe sticking out of the wall, we could use a 2-inch PVC trap. So we have a 2-inch PVC trap. And this is a, a, a two-part trap, meaning it's a, it's a street elbow with a U-bend. And this is adjustable. You can flip this one way or the other. It's just you, you're going to have to mark it off, know where you want it, then glue it, and then you're done because you don't get second chances with this stuff. And then if you had a single sink up top, simply what you would do is put this bushing in here. It's a two-by-inch and a half bushing, PVC bushing. That would go in there like that. And you would get a trap adapter. This is called a trap adapter. So this gets you the tubular. It's already got a built-in nylon washer in there. So the trap adapter and the bushing gets glued into the trap. And then you could you could you could continue on up to the sink. And that's the way that would go. And and again, you could swing this trap left, right, wherever you needed it to be. You'd have to mark it off because once you glue it. That's it. You're out of luck. Now, if you had two sinks, there's a couple of things you could do. What I most likely would do is I would leave this bushing in here, and I would bush it down to an inch and a half, and we'd have a small piece of PVC in between here that we would glue, and then we have a trap adapter going for the auxiliary sink. Again, you're going to have to pre-mark, dry fit everything, mark it off, because once you glue PVC, that's it. And then go into the main sink. Well, that didn't work out too well, so we'll get another trap adapter over here, if we can find one. This is live stuff, folks. This is, this is real live stuff. So we have another trap adapter, which would go on the top, and from the top, Again, you'd be able to transition into the tubular. Same thing here. So you can transition into the tubular this way. But again, you could turn this any way you wanted. So you, you reduce it right after the trap, it gets reduced. Now, if you didn't want to do that, or you didn't have an inch and a half, and all you had was two inch, uh, you most certainly could use two inch. So you would glue a piece of two inch in here, you'd have a two inch TY. And then what you could do is glue in your bushings or reducing couplings right into the two inch as such like this and then in, into into that part you would take your trap adapters and reduce it to inch and a half if you so wish if that's what you wanted to do so that's another way of doing it so you got a couple of choices there Again, you know, in New York, pretty much it's two inch for kitchen sinks, an inch and a half for bathroom sinks. Um, you could also, if you had a piece of PVC sticking out of the wall, or galvanized for that matter, and I, I've seen in a lot of the emails you guys are sending me, I guess, I guess a lot of you guys have this, this chrome tubular stuff that's under your kitchen sinks. And actually, this is too small, you know, in New York City for a kitchen sink, but in some other municipalities, I guess inch and a half is legal. And I saw some pictures with this stuff. And you can most certainly do it a few ways. You could, you could get a no-hub clamp, which is this, which goes from two inch pipe, iron or plastic, to inch and a half tubing. And, and you could simply, you can get your collar Let's get this collar that belongs with this, and that would go over the pipe like this. And then you can get your trap and put your trap in here, and you can transition to the trap and you just tighten that up. Um, you could also, I mean, there's so many ways to do this that you probably get totally, totally confused on what to do. You could also. If you had a piece of PVC coming out of the wall like that, you could also get a, a nut that went from two inch to inch and a half. So you can get a two by inch and a half nut, and you could actually put that in there like that. 
and that would work. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities here, guys, and, and it's just not one, you know, one flavor fits all. So, so if we're dealing under a kitchen, uh, excuse me, a bathroom sink, now the size is going to be inch and a half. And again, don't let this flange, you know, uh, boggle your mind. This is just here to, so I could hold up the two-inch pipe view. So now I have my inch and a half nipple that's going in through the wall here. And if we wanted to transition to a trap, there's a couple of ways we could do it. We could um, get, again, and let me, I have so much stuff here on the table, it's, it's, it's actually crazy. Um, we could actually take our trap, and this is in a bathroom application. So we, we have our nut here, and this is inch and a half, and this would simply fit inside the inch and a half pipe. And we have our nut here. And we would tighten that nut up. Actually, I'd put a little pipe joint compound on it and make sure everything's lubricated. And, and, and there's one way to, to get you to the inch and a half trap. And don't forget, if, you, if you're hooking up to a sink, the, the tail pieces or the uh, waste tubing coming down from a bathroom sink or a lavatory is going to be inch and a quarter. So you're going to want to use your reducing nut. This is an inch and a half by inch and a quarter reducing nut. And I have my friction washer. There's a brass friction washer in there. And then my rubber washer. And that would go on top of the trap. And that's going to get me up to the, the lavatory, the basin, as it were. Now, if you, you, you had a plain piece of pipe sticking out of the wall, or perhaps you wanted to cut the threads off, and you had a piece of galvanized pipe sticking out this way, as I showed you with the two inch, this is a, this is a two by inch and a half, two inch pipe by inch and a half tubule. They also make these an inch and a half pipe or inch and a half PVC by inch and a half tubular. So you could use that. You most certainly could use that. Um, actually, that was the wrong coupling I showed you. So this would be the one. This was two by inch and a half tubular, two inch pipe, inch and a half tubular. They make inch and a half pipe or inch and a half PVC by inch and a half tubular. So you could you could put a ru rubber clamp on that and clamp that on. There's so many different ways you can do it. If you wanted to convert, again, if you had a good thread here and you decided you wanted to convert to PVC, you could simply get a coupling which converted from threads, and bear with me guys, I know it's here, here it is, threaded by PVC, just like the two inch. So we can put our coupling on there. Don't forget uh, tape, Teflon tape and pipe joint compound. You'll make that up and then you can transition to plastic at that point. And, and what I like to do and the idea is I like to bring my trap as close as possible to the sink. This way I can use the least amount of tubular um, tubing to hook up the sink. Uh, this is a street L and a return bend. Again, when you use these, you, you got to make sure uh, you dry fit them and mark them because once you glue them, that's it. But this does give you adjustability. They make traps with this big nut on it, which I'm not a fan of because invariably they leak. I don't know why, but I, I put a lot of pipe joint compound on here, my Teflon Mega Lock. And you can. This will give you adjustability and you don't have to worry about marking it and it's not a one shot deal. You can actually loosen these and go from side to side. So you'll be able to go wherever you need to go with this. And again, if you have to transition to the sink, you're simply going to use a um, trap adapter and that'll get you to the tubular stuff. So that's pretty simple that way. And, and, and I think that's about it, guys. Uh, there's so many different ways you can do it. It depends, again, on what you have coming out of the wall. Again, I like to bring my trap as close as I can to the sink. So I will go out of my way to bring this as close as the sink as I can. I, you know, I, I hate seeing jobs where, you know, you have the piece coming out here. 
and you'll have the trap sitting close to the wall and then they'll run like you know 36 inches of tubing you know or, or 48 inches of tubing one way or the other I'd rather get the trap centrally located between if it's a double sink between my two sinks so I will extend this out at, with pipe whether it be PVC pipe whether it be DWV pipe uh, you know whether you want to do it with galvanized which is in today's world is probably you know something you're not going to see much of you would want to transition to PVC so once again if you wanted to transition to PVC in this case you'd simply take that coupling with the threads on it make that up with your Teflon and then you can continue and now you can glue this all the way and get it over to where you need it to get it put your trap on over here um, if you wanted to do it again in the two inch size you can take this out and here we got the two inch nipple so you got your two inch nipple sticking out of the wall so you could you could put your your threaded coupling by by socket and and transition to PVC if you didn't have one of these couplings what I probably would do is cut these threads off and then you would get your stock two inch no hub coupling like this and get that on there and now you now you transition to, to, to PVC and now you can just continue on to wherever you have to go and that also works with the inch and a half if you wanted to extend it with inch and a half and you didn't have these couplings with the with the threads in it you can most certainly use an inch and a half uh, no hub coupling so I hope that clarified some stuff guys there's, there's a zillion different ways you can do it I got a lot of stuff on the bench here which you can't see but you know it depends on the application and again the ideal way to do it is to bring the trap as close as you can to the sink you know I've seen traps that were up against the wall and then you see you know 18 24 48 inches of tubing it, it looks ridiculous and, and I, I just don't like it so if you can bring the trap as close as you can to the sink I think that's the best way to do it uh, so I hope this gave you a little insight as to some different ways you can transition from the wall over to the sink and, and if there's something on here you didn't see, just email me, info at bobsplumbingvideos.com. And very important, send me photos. I like to see photos. The more photos you can send me, the better it is, because then I'll have a better idea or, of how I can guide you, or you know how I can tell you which is the best way to go. And uh, guys, as always, I wanted to thank you for stopping by bobsplumbingvideos.com. I hope you got some useful information out of this video if not again as always email me info at bobsplumbingvideos.com and until next time i will see you in the next video happy plumbing guys